Yo, what's up? That's pretty cool. I can see the phone and stuff in my glasses. But look, so I used to work at Subway, right? And at Subway, I always tell people, you got to watch out what you say about some of the customers that come in because some customers, again, nobody has a problem with until you say something about that customer, right? And I've watched it happen many a times. You know, that's just how most things work. Nobody has a problem with that coworker or that girl or that boy until somebody shows up and says there's a problem. Now everybody starts noticing that problem. I think Satan already knew before he came to Adam and Eve, they're not Jesus, they're not God. So then that means there's there's a fault somewhere. There's something I can find inside this woman. And one, again, he went after the weaker sex. Eve is supposed to be the weaker out of the two. Adam's supposed to be the stronger. Eve's is supposed to be the weaker out of the sex. But when I'm weakest, I'm strongest, it says in scripture. So you can put that together yourself. But back to the point, how he came at her. Put stuff in her head, put stuff in her heart to make her respond to go move. But not just move, but bring somebody else with her. Adam. That's where we all sit. We're all still sitting where they decided this is what I'm going to do with what I call free will. My own decisions. And you're either going to be part of the problem fighting against that, which means doing what Jesus did, quoting scripture to Satan himself, that's how Jesus defeated Satan himself, or you're going to be the idiot that stays away from quoting scriptures that Jesus even quotes. Your choice, but Jesus is Lord. Let's go.